السلام عليكم تفضل الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان لا اله الا أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهد الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا ايها الذين امنوا اجتنبوا كثيرا من الظن ان بعض الظن اثم ولا تجسسوا ولا يغتب بعضكم بعضا أيحب أحدكم أن يأكل لحم أخيه ميتا فكرهتموه واتقوا الله إن الله تواب الرحيم صدق الله العظيم My dear brothers and sisters I have recited the ayah number 12 from Surah Al-Hujurat In Surah Al-Hujurat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned many injunctions that keeps the community close together and avoid the dispute. There are many injunctions that Allah has mentioned in this particular surah, in Surah Al-Hujurat. And there are ahadith, numerous ahadith, in which Prophet وسلم, has mentioned both the importance of keeping the community together and what are the reward for it? And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as Rahmatul Lil Alameen, he has given many details in this regard to keep the community together and the harmony in the community. In general, for the humanity, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has given many instructions. In particular, for his own community, to have harmony and the brotherhood strong, he has given many instructions. Those are the hadith, but in this surah, Surah Al Hujrat, Allah Taala has mentioned many injunctions. Among them, the ayah number twelve that I had recited, Allah Taala says, "O oh, those who believe, abstain from many of the suspicions. Some suspicions are sins, and do not be." curious to find out faults of others and do not backbite one another. Does one of you 
like that the eats the flesh of his dead brother allah tbaraka wa taala has given three instructions or three injunctions in this ayah if we go back in ayah number 10 allah tbaraka wa taala has mentioned innama al mu'minuna ikhwatun fa aslihu bayna akhawaykum wattaqullaha la'allakum turhamun allah tbaraka wa taala says muslims are brother fa aslihu bayna akhawaykum and reconcile between them if they have gone wrong or if they have something disputed wattaqullah and allah tbaraka wa taala says fear allah have taqwa of allah subhanahu wa taala la'allakum turhamun that you may be uh, allah tbaraka wa taala may show mercy upon you that was the ayah and after that ayah allah tbaraka wa taala has mentioned in the next ayah يا ايها الذين امنوا لا يسخر قوم من قوم عسى ان يكونوا خيرا منهم ولا نساء من نساء عسى ان يكن خيرا منهن ولا تلمزوا انفسكم ولا تنابزوا بالالقاب بئس الاسم الفسوق بعد الايمان ومن لم يتب فاولئك هم الظالمون ان ذيس اي الله تبارك وتعالى از منشن دو نوت ميك فن فن اوف ون اوف ايتش اذر ون شود نوت ميك فن اوف ذا اذر and in this regard allah tbaraka wa taala has mentioned both separately men and women men should not make fun of other men and the women they should not make fun of other women and then allah tbaraka wa taala has given a reason you do not know that you are making fun of someone he might be better than you in the sight of allah subhanahu wa taala and the woman is making she is making fun of someone and maybe that woman is more beloved to allah subhanahu wa taala than herself we do not know where we stand in the sight of allah subhanahu wa taala allah tbaraka wa taala is giving us the reason how can you make fun of someone on the assumptions because of that right after that allah tbaraka wa taala has mentioned this ijtanibu kathiran min adh-dhann this is a very powerful ayah in this allah tbaraka wa taala is asking us to stay away from the suspicions and if you look at our community nowadays we are kind of involved in it each and almost every person about other person regardless of party don't have to have affiliation of group a group b but each and every person if do two people are talking the third person will see them think you know like they might be doing some kind of conspiracy doing something and allah tbaraka wa taala says this is not your right this is not uh, supposed to be the muslim society the muslim community should be aware of this faults and allah tbaraka wa taala has mentioned very clearly ijtanibu kathiran min adh-dhann and allah tbaraka wa taala says stay away from many of the suspicions in the ba'd al-dhann ithm because there are some suspicions there are sins there are many examples and why allah tbaraka wa ta'ala says in the ba'd al-dhann because there are other suspicions they are okay for example like you should have suspicions means dhann dhann means with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always you should have a good dhann allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanahu wa ta'ala for example like you have a dhann with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah will forgive me allah will not punish me uh, you should have this dhann with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why because allah tbaraka wa ta'ala has mentioned in one of the hadiths of qudsi said ana inda dhanni abdi bi allah tbaraka wa ta'ala says i treat my slave the way he have dhann with me the way he think of me If you think of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala merciful, Allah Tabaarak wa Ta'ala show his mercy to you. And if you think Allah will never forgive me, Allah will punish me, I will be always in his azab, then Allah Tabaarak wa Ta'ala will punish you. This is Allah's promise and I in the dhanni abdi bi. But when it comes to brotherhood, when it comes to society, we should always have good thought about others. And like the mufassirin they mentioned most of the time you think about somebody the way you are 
you reflect when you have some thoughts, some suspicions about someone, that basically in reality that's your own thought you're reflecting in other person. For example, if you see a person at night is coming out of the masjid, for example, if you are a, have a habit of going, leaving masjid late because you are praying, you are reciting Quran, you are making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and everybody left and you leave, most of the time you are the last one to leave. And at this moment, if you see someone is also walking out the masjid at the same time, you think of same thing. Oh, he was also busy, maybe he was praying, he was reciting Quran, he was making dua. If you happen to be the other way, if you're busy in the masjid, talking to someone, gossiping, riba, conspiracy, all type of things, if you're busy in that, and when you finish your madlis and you're leaving, and if you see somebody is at the same time, you see him in the parking lot or you see him around, you think of him, same thing. Oh, he might be busy with somebody else that we need to find out who else was it. See, that, that's how your personality reflects the way you are. Because of that, Allah Taala says, "Wala talmizu anfusakum, wala tanabazu bil alqab." In this ayah, Allah says, "Wala talmizu anfusakum." You know, do not make um, call another with the bad nicknames. Allah Taala says, "Wala talmizu anfusakum." Do not call bad nicknames to yourself. What do you mean to yourself? No one can't to yourself in a bad name. That means if you call a bad name to your brother, that basically in reality, you are calling this bad name to yourself. Why? Because Allah has mentioned the previous ayah, inna wal mu'minuna ikhwa. All Muslims are brothers. And <coughs> this is you know, like another example is given in the books, but the, the example I gave you is a very particular that we can understand, especially the situation we are going through, the way we are reacting in our community, the way we are being suspicious about others. If he's talking, why they are talking, what they are talking, are they planning something? And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in another hadith, he said, "Iyakum al-zann, fa inna al-zann akrab al-hadith." Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Avoid suspicion, for suspicion is the worst of false talks. Worst of false talk. Like I said, if you have suspicion and bad thinking about anybody, on the day of judgment, we are answerable in front of Allah subhanahu." Wa Allah will ask you. We are commanded to have good zan with each and every person. Even though you see someone is coming out maybe from a club or something, you still, you give him benefit of doubt. He might have something to do inside and he went there, he did not drink or something. Because there are many examples in the time of Sahaba Karam Radwanullah al -Main. It happened, they brought, you know, like the, a sahabi and said Abdullah ibn Masood radiallahu ta'ala and he said even if you see the liquor is dripping from his beard you don't say that he is drunk because we did not see that he was committing a crime he did not see from our own eyes that he had done this imagine this it is very important to understand this point you know, like why Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has mentioned this. And then he said, in other hadith, this is a long hadith, but you know, like um, in that he said, La tajassasu, wa la tanajasu, wa la tahassasu, wa la tabagadu. This is a long hadith in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, again, he said, do not have suspicions against other people. Like I said, in the day of judgment, if you have 
good one with other person, you will not be answerable. You may be rewarded, you may not be rewarded. But if you have bad one, and if you have bad suspicion with other person about somebody else, then you will be answerable. Is there is a proof or non-proof? This is between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will ask you, so and so day, so and so month, you had this bad suspicion about so and so person. What was the proof on that? We'll be stuck. We may have a lot of ibadahs on our account. We have a lot of Quran maybe. We have a lot of fasting, a lot of charity. We may have so many good deeds. But when it comes to this, we'll fail. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us tawfiq. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among the ummah that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam want to see us on the day of judgment as the brother and the strength and the brotherhood of this ummah. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us tawfiq that we stay away from suspicions and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it among the good Muslims. Alhamdulillah. 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 Nahmaduhu wa nasta'iduhu wa nasta'afiruhu wa nu'minu bihi wa natawakkalu alayhi wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyati amalina. Man yahdillahu falamudzilla lah wa man yudzillilhu falahadiya lah. Wa nashadu an la ilaha illa allahu wa hadahu la sharika lah. Wa nashadu anna sayyidana wa nabiyyana muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. Inna allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabiy. Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala sayyidana muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Qala al nabiyyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Arham ummati bi ummati abu bakr. Wa ashadduhum fi amri allahi umar. Wa asdaquhum hayan uthman. Wa aqdahum alij. وفاطمة سيدة النساء أهل الجنة والحسن والحسين سيدا شباب أهل الجنة وحمزة أسد الله وأسد رسوله اللهم اغفر للعباس وولده مغفرة ظاهرة وباطنة لا تغادر ذنبا رضوان الله تعالى عليه مجمعين الله الله في أصحابي لا تتخذوهم غرضا من بعدي فمن أحبهم فبحب أحبهم ومن أبغضهم فببغض أبغضهم اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم اغفر لجميع المؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم الأموات برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعيدكم لعلكم تذكرون أذكروا الله يذكركم ودعوه يستجب لكم ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون أقيم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر سبحانك الله الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا يسخر قوم من قوم عسى أن يكونوا خيرا منهم ولا نساء من نساء عسى أن يكون خيرا منهم ولا تلمزوا أنفسكم ولا تنابزوا بالألقاب 
بئس الاسم الفسوق بعد الايمان ومن لم يتب فاولئك هم الظالمون يا ايها الذين امنوا اجتنبوا كثيرا من الظن ان بعض الظن اثم ولا تجسسوا ولا يغتب بعضكم بعضا أيحب أحدكم أن يأكل لحم أخيه ميتا فكرهتموه واتقوا الله إن الله تواب رحيم الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمدا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين ويل لكل همزة لمزة الذي جمع مالا وعدده يحسب أن ماله أخلده كلا لينبذن في الحطمة وما أدراك ما الحطمة نار الله الموقدة التي تطلع على الأفئدة إنها عليهم مؤصدة في عمد ممددة الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمدا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله اللهم انت السلام ومنك السلام تبارك هذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم أعنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك برحمتك يا رحم الراحمين